Alright, let's beat Sean in Sifu. He's the boss at the end of the club. Now he can attack either in one, two, threes or fours. So because it's random what he will choose, I'll just talk through what I'm doing. Hold block, avoid. That was one attack, so I can get in some hits. Hold block, avoid, avoid, avoid. That was three, get in some hits. Still holding block, avoid, avoid, avoid. Get in some hits. Now if he falls down, I'm gonna go get a weapon. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay, he's fallen down. There's weapons at the side, so I'm going to grab one. Hold block. Now, what he does is he does one, two, three, or four attacks. But he usually grunts at the end of the attack that will be his final attack. Not always, but often. So listen for when he grunts at the end of his move. Otherwise, you want to just plan to avoid three to four times. And then when he stops, you want to counter. The avoid cycle is always hold block and pull back on your stick. You're better off to flick the stick rather than to hold the stick, but uh, either one should work as so long as you get your timing right. And the timing is you want to pull back just at the last second. I'm knocking him down consistently here because I'm using a specific combo. Immediately after dodging his last attack, you want to press light attack, then heavy attack, then heavy attack. So light, heavy, heavy then hold circle to hit him on the ground. Here I'm positioning myself near the weapon rack to grab a fresh weapon for phase two. I wanna put him on the ground though to create some breathing room to grab that weapon. So light, heavy, heavy, then grab the weapon. If you can't put him to the ground, save up some focus and then use your focus to stagger him momentarily to give you the breathing room to grab a fresh stick because it's very handy having a weapon in phase two. In phase two, always block the first two attacks. One of those attacks can be a sweep and it will get you if you try to avoid, unless you're really, really good with avoiding sweeps. So always block his first two attacks. You might want to block the third as well if necessary, but first two at a minimum. Block, block, avoid. Light, heavy, heavy. I'm gonna hit him twice when he gets up to do a bit more stagger damage and prepare to block, block, avoid, avoid. Light, heavy, heavy. Hold circle. I could have backed off there to recover my own structure if I needed to. Block, block, avoid, avoid. Block, block, avoid, light, heavy, heavy. Again, back off if you need to recover your structure instead of hitting him on the ground. His structure's high, so he's about to growl and become enraged, which means he'll hit harder and more frequently. He'll also now have a fifth big overhead smash with his stick that can break your structure in one go, so you must be prepared to avoid a fifth strike every time. Block, block, avoid, block, avoid. That was the big fifth overhead strike hit. My structure's a little high, so I want to block, but also avoid more. Block, block, avoid. Light, heavy, heavy. I could also use focus right now to end the fight if I needed to, but just one block was enough to break his structure. So as you can see, if you just spend most of that fight blocking and only counter when the opportunity is there with a light heavy heavy, you'll break his structure quite quickly. So just remember phase two, block the first two hits always, then do your best to either block or avoid the next one, two or three, depending on what comes. And try your best to avoid the very last one and then light heavy heavy to put him on the ground. And of course, watch your structure during his enraged phase and back off as you need to, to recover it. And that's how you can beat Sean without any specific skills unlocked in Sifu. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.